what's up guys today I'm gonna show you that I recently updated to iOS 5 without a developers account but it's not that good as you can see hmm. it's not that good I'll show you that I am an iOS 5 iOS 5. It really sucks. I'm telling you. And the only thing that's good is the that it has more speed and it has the iMessages, which you can't even use because you're not a developer. Right here. And the FaceTime, you can't use either. A newsstand. I tried downloading an app from the App Store. It doesn't really work. I was just lucky. I was lucky that I got I only got Facebook I was just lucky but if I were you I wouldn't update to iOS 5 unless you're a developer uh, my developers I used to be a developer uh, my developers account expired like $99 one year it expired so I had to do this illegally so yeah this if I were you, I wouldn't update, okay? <laughs> like, if you want to do it without developer's account, I wouldn't do it. The notifications work perfectly fine. The Safari, I've heard a lot of you guys that the Safari doesn't work for you, but it does It does work for me. See? does work for me I mean yeah. Oops. see works it works perfectly fine some say that it does crash as soon as you tap it I don't know if that's true but well, that was it FaceTime, you can't log in. Look, it just, it, it's rebooting crazy. I'm gonna show you how to do this legally, like if you're stuck on this. This is what you do, you, you tap three times. It's great. And voiceover, voiceover should be on. So you, you tap on the clock up here. And then slide three fingers down. Or you can turn that off and then uh, tap on either or. And then it should be in. The camera sometimes crashes and stuff like that, but I think that you shouldn't update. Like I said, not worth. You don't. You can't download any apps. You can't get apps from your computer. I mean, from iTunes. You can't get music. So right now, I'm just gonna downgrade to 4.3.3, and that's about it. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Rate, comment, subscribe, and peace out.